Hello guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'll be unboxing the Radon RX 580 Armor graphics card. Let's get started. Let's go over to the back of the box. There are some details about the heatsink design and the fan. Um, it has this special X fan and all right so let's get into the unboxing let's open this box and see what it has So here we have MSI Lucky the Dragon comic. Here are some stickers where you would stick on your computer case. And the MSI graphics card quick user guide. I'm just gonna show you guys the stickers with the primary properly focused because earlier it didn't focus properly. A thank you note from MSI and next we will get into opening the graphics card it's in a completely sealed bag here all right guys so here is the GPU let's keep the GPU aside and see whether there are anything in the box all right let's have a closer look at the graphics card so here I'm gonna remove the sticker that is holding the fans these are the tall X type fans they provide very good airflow and here we have a really good heat pipe that provides efficient heat transfer from the chip and that's a really good heat sink there it's not that big but it provides adequate cooling for this graphics card. Just have a closer look here at it. Here is the 8 pin PCI Express power connector. Here you have solid capacitors, which are really good at surviving in a long time. I'm going to remove the PCI Express cover. All right, let's have a look at the output ports here. You have the DVI port to connect all the monitors, HDMI, second HDMI port, display port, and the second display port. And the back of the graphics card doesn't have a protective backplate. Alright guys, so here is the fun part, I'm going to install the graphics card on my computer. Make sure that the PCI Express X16 lock is open. And I'm going to now install the graphics card. Here I'm trying to set it underneath the CPU power cable here. I'm just going to slowly insert it into the X16 slot. And now I'm going to secure the graphics card onto the computer case by screwing the PCI Express screws in. And now I'm going to install the PCI color here. And the final step is to connect the 8 pin power cable. Alright, and now let's turn the computer on. And here is a close-up view of the graphics card running. It doesn't have any LED lights, which is kind of boring. Um, some graphics cards do have lights and they really look very nice at night. All right, and here we have Windows Task Manager showing the GPU. GPU temperature, dedicated GPU memory, eight gigs. 
and share and forking of GPU memory. And final step is to run the performance test on the graphics card. Here I'm showing you guys that I have not overclocked the GPU is running at its default settings with a core clock of 1366 megs and a memory clock of 2000 megs. All right, and now let's run the 3D tests. I'm going to leave the computer running, doing its testing, and I'm just going to skip the video and jump straight to the results page. All right, guys, so here we have the results. It has scored 9,252 points for its 3D graphics score. And an average RX 580 graphics card scores 8,843. So our graphics card has scored way more than an average RX 580, which is really good. And that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching.